and Trump is expected to appear in federal court here in Miami next week. Security preparations are already underway, as you might imagine, and that's where we find local tenants Alex Finney. She's at the courthouse with the latest developments. Alex. And Christy and Louie, I can tell you that it's been pretty quiet in terms of what the specific plans in terms of the president and all of the security will be. But what I can tell you is that police and federal agents, while they haven't divulged a lot to us in terms of what those plans will be, a lot of people need to make sure that they are ready for the security because, you know, that is going to be top of mind and specifically how that security and how this arrival is going to affect traffic in and around downtown Miami. Barricades up security being put in place ahead of former President Donald Trump's arrival. Media surrounding the Wilkie D. Ferguson courthouse along North Miami Avenue. The city of Miami Police Department gearing up for the tighter security. The department declined to go on camera, however, did tell local Ted in a statement that the department will work cohesively with local, state and federal partners to provide any assistance needed in the form of personnel, resources, detours and or road closures. We're committed to protecting everyone's First Amendment right. The Miami-Dade Police Department said that they have not received any requests for security support, but did say that they stay ready to assist. The former president indicted by a federal grand jury Thursday following an investigation into his handling of classified documents after leaving office. It's here in Miami where he will be arraigned on charges. And with this announcement also comes a wave of security concerns and measures as the city of Miami braces for an appearance of this magnitude that will almost certainly attract demonstrators as well. And Logistically speaking, it also affect residents and businesses in the area. If you have to like go somewhere uh, outside downtown, it's kind of crazy, yeah. Well, uh, I think it's necessary for the safety of the uh, uh, situation that's going on, so I can understand it. I hope it's quick and they can uh, get in and out. And we have heard reports that the Secret Service in this case still working on solidifying a lot of those plans. What I can tell you from our vantage point being out here, we are already starting to see that tightening in terms of a lot of people in the area. You have a lot of media, a lot of media vans parked all along North Miami Avenue, as well as 4th and 5th streets, just really an indication of the security that's still to come ahead of Tuesday. Much more on this story coming up a little bit later on, later editions of Local 10 News. But for now, that's the very latest live in downtown Miami. Alex Finney, Local 10 News. It's going to be a crazy place to be next week. Okay, thanks so much, Alex.